Okay, it is Wednesday before Christmas. Just on the heels of that crazy storm we had this weekend, that weird unnamed nor'easter. And I am at Lido Key, I'm heading out to the point to see if it's brought in any shells. It's taken a couple of days for the winds to die down, the surf to calm down, and the temperature to come up. So, hopefully, we'll find some good things out here. Hello show buddies, happy holidays and welcome back to the channel. Alright, getting back into some things here after our uh, Christmas break. And I'm editing a really awesome trip to Lido. And it's going to be the first of two for that week because it was so good when I went. John wanted to go too, so we went on Wednesday following this insane winter storm that we had. I've been calling it Winter Storm Whatchamacallit because it didn't officially have any kind of a name or anything like that. But that storm has done quite a little bit to the area's beaches and for the area's shelling because happy holidays. Wow. Normally I park over by where the restrooms are at the beach. There's some handicap parking over there. And today I didn't do that. Today I parked over here by the side where I'm closer to the condos. I'm going to make my way across, then over. Where those folks are over there, there's a point out there where shells accumulate. Now, normally, I'll walk on this side, but as of the last couple of storms, that's been getting kind of steep, as, like, my walker being on an angle. I thought maybe this would be a little flatter and a little easier to traverse today. And as I get here, I'm already seeing where the water has carved and cut through a number of places up here by the seagrass from this storm. And I see shells all over around me, so I'm going to poke around and take a look here. Then we'll head over to the water. What do we have here? Broken fighting conks and slipper snails. Big piece of a true tulip. That's cool. I like true tulips. Oh boy. That makes a cool looking flower, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm keeping that. That's cool. I know it's weird and broken, but you guys know me. That's how I roll. Lots of broken stuff. Look at the size of that Sarah. That's not broken. He's huge. Very beautifully preserved, too, with the siphon in. Nice. All right. A couple little things to throw in the bag. Let's go have some more fun. All right, so you can see one of the issues here is shelling at Lido, too. Clearly, the sand has been groomed, and they drag this little tool through it to sort of pick up trash and things like that. There was shells up here. I don't imagine that that helps because I think it probably breaks them. But the sand is full of broken and loads of pieces here. It looks to me as if there's a pretty good drop to get to the ocean too. I'm seeing like people's heads, but not their whole bodies. Ooh, well we'll stop for a second for this. That's worth picking up. That's a White Atlantic simile. White Atlantic similes. They're thin, not a huge shell. This one's pretty surf worn. And there's a scattering of pink sometime up here. And actually a cute little shell. And seeing a rack line. Low tide is not until 1 o'clock. It's about 11, 11.30. Right around there. And there's goodies to look at. Quite a few from the looks of it here. Oh boy, <laughs> look at this, look at all the fighting cogs, oh, I think this is going to be fun. All right, speaking of fighting cogs, there's one right here. Let's, uh, let's start with this little fella. Ooh, he's beauty. Really nice marking, nice light color. Hey, great start. 
I'll be able to tell when I get further down that way. But I swear the bottom of Lido Point, every time we get a storm, seems to be getting bigger lately. So when I get over that way, I'll be able to shoot back and kind of compare it to my earlier footage. Look at this great olive. Wow, nice calico scallop here too. There's a bay. Top of a moon snail and an auger. Oh boy. Good golly, look at this pile. Oh my. This is fun. Okay, so I stopped here because I saw a couple of olives. And here we have a piece of coral. Look at that button snail right there. That's a beauty. Nice. Big moon snail here. Okay. It's worth waiting a couple of days after a storm. It seems like coming right after it ends is when you want to be here, but you really want to give it a couple of days. And there's pieces of whelks and fighting conks and arcs all over. This fighting conk, maybe he's nice. Heck yeah. Look at those colors. And there's a really bright orange one in front of me over here. Another nice olive, another nice piece of coral. What in the world? Oh my goodness gracious. Look at that. He's nice. A little bit off his tip missing, but that's all right. We'll let that slide. I don't want to load up on fighting cops. I certainly could, but I don't have that big of a bag on. There's another really nice olive right there. Oh wait, he's missing his tip. Ooh. Look at the moon snail right here. And that huge, huge piece of coral. Hey now. Heck yeah. There's a little olive in the back that's in better shape. He's got his tip. We'll take him too. Well, good morning, Leto. My goodness. Oh, great start. Oh, look at that turkey wing in the surf. How pretty. That's a nice one. That is stunning. Oh my goodness. Look at these. Another beautiful coral finger. And look at that little cutie pie. Hello, little baby fighting well, or fighting conk. You're just so cute. And you got some real pretty friends up here. I'm gonna take some of them along for the party too. Yay! My goodness, moon snail pieces. Every place I'm looking. There's another piece of one right there. Some surf worn olives. Oh, look at the colors on that little stunner. There's that cute auger. Gosh. I do so well here, I may not make it to the bottom. Oh, that's a lovely base scallop. Oh my goodness, there's quite a bit here to pick from. And stuff is still kind of pushing up. Tide's on its way out. We've still got a couple hours to get to low tide and it'll be a negative low tide at 0.33. All right, I just got done saying, I wasn't gonna take a lot of fighting conks, but you know, when you see one that's that pretty with that purple tip, that's tough to say no to right there. That's lovely. And there's stuff in the water too. Oh my word. This is Lido at its finest. Calm, I can see through the water. It's not chocolate milk. Is it cold? Absolutely, it's absolutely freezing cold, sure. But you know, shellers don't let that stop us. So, stuff in the water, stuff washing in, stuff on the beach. And it's everywhere. All right, well, you know, since I'm finding different things here, and I'm in a slightly different spot, I think I might make my way to those rocks. Right after I stop for that little knobless beauty. Look at this. Okay, let me explain. Most of your fighting conks are gonna have these bumps on them. They're called knobs. 
This is a knobless. It does not have those bumps. And there's some discussion in the shell world as to whether or not it's a separate species or a variant of a same species. But I find fossils like that too. So I'm in the separate camp, but what do I know? I'm just a sheller. <laughs> Nice piece of coral right there in front of me too. That's great. Heck yeah. This is looking awesome. And because this pile seems sort of thick, I'm sort of wondering should I move and like look and see how deep it is. Dig a little. Oh, look at that. That's like six inches thick of shells at least. And some older stuff in here mixed in with more fresh stuff. Like this guy here is uh, very discolored and I would suspect a fossil. Since he doesn't seem to have the patterning that the modern ones have. People do on occasion find some monster shells down here. Big whelks, big horse conks. Me? I like to look for the little ones. <laughs> Isn't that precious? Oh, baby whelks just make me so happy. Oh, there's a worm snail. We'll take him too. And another. Okay. Oh, lots and lots of fun here to be had. This is quite a nice little shell pile. Oh, trick me. Just a piece. That's gorgeous. I'll take that. Wow, wow, wow. And there's quite a few shells all the way up to those rocks. Might be some in the water by the rocks too. Now I think I'm gonna go check over there. Oh, pretty and pink, isn't she? <laughs> those are gorgeous. Jump right out at you in all of this tan and orange and yellow and white. Pinks really jump out, the bright oranges jump out. And there's a more than one rack here, actually, too. And so you have this edge right here, which will be exposed a little bit in uh, just an hour or two when that tide is all the way out. Then we've got this rack line here, then this, and this, then up there. So this is multiple rack lines from multiple high tide shifts since that storm. Ooh. A little lemon yellow sun there for us. What a distinctive color. That's gorgeous for a scallop. Really nice. Nice big turkey wing with some coral on it. That's really cool. Put that in the bag. Get the size of that arc. Holy moly. Pretty top off of a moon snail there. Yeah, I'll take this guy. He's cool. There's another great knobless fighting conch. What a great one. And look at the colors on this guy. Oh, it's too bad he's broken. Super, super fun. Oh, I can't say no to an orange scallop like ever. Super cute. There's a little broken juvenile fighting conch there. Another really awesome turkey wing. So yeah, that's what there's a lot of down here. And coral. And finding pieces of coral all over. And then of course you have your little small arcs and your other little commons, your crossbar Venus. And the darkness on this one. Take that too. And there's big shell pieces everywhere. Gosh. All over the place. Look at this one. Look at the pattern on that, wow. It's in terrible shape, but super cool to see it. Olives for days. Olives all over the place. Well, there's a really funky discolored calico clam. I like weirdos. And that is super weird for a calico clam. Look at that. That low sediment, low oxygen sediment discoloration. Neato. Ah, here's one of those other mussels that we found before. 
That was a strange find for the area. Not, it's not the same as the southern horse mussel with the purple that I pick up all the time. This is that different one that you usually find in the Atlantic. How did you get here, friend? Okay, these were so nice sticking out against everything else that I just had to stop. Didn't wash in all that long ago. Still got some water in them. Those are all beautiful. It's gorgeous little Florida fighting conchs. And a really nice, really nice turkey wing. Oh, there's another one. And another one. <gasps> Look at this. Wow. Turkey wings all over. All right, I might leave this guy because he's a little rough, but this one's stunning too. Nice. The fighting conchs are getting smaller. The scallops are getting bigger. There's a whelk and a moon. Whelk's not in great shape, who cares? Nice big base scallop. Awesome. There's another whelk. Hey, that one's in better shape. Very nice. That is a lovely little Lido lightning whelk. I feel like the Monster Mash song needs to be playing right now. Look at the size of that moon snail. Wow. Stunner. Stunner. And there's fun little ones too. There's a little moon right there. A tinted cantharus. And a button snail. That's a thin cyclonella. And there's a pile of shells right here in front of me. And it goes all the way up there to the rocks. Wow, there's a worm snail there. A nice olive. Boy, oh boy. That guy just sticking out of the sand like that. Stunning. Super glossy. Nice, nice lettered olive. Won't carry tons of stuff. But I will take a cute little lightning whelk. And then maybe that cute little moon snail. And oh, that juvie. He's cute too. What else is over here? A nice scallop with a barnacle on it. That's cool. And it just popped right off. I see some great colors on some fighting cons. I don't think I should leave behind because their colors are really special. One of them will be this guy, this beautiful knobless one that's in like perfect condition. And then this one over here, which is a yellow, like a light orange yellow variety. It's got the knobs. What a wonderful variety this shell comes in colors and pattern wise. Really, they are stunning. No way. Ooh. Hey, buddy. Look at you. We'll take you, little yellow horse conch. I don't care if you're in bad shape. You're great. <laughs> wow. Hello, Apple Murex. Beautiful. What a great show. Look at that cute little crown conch piece. Another turkey wing there. There's a broken chestnut turban. My, 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 my. Wow. That's actually a really huge spiny jewel box. I'll take him too. Fun. There's another lovely lightning walk right here. And let me just um, tell you. Hello, horse conch pieces. I'll take you too. Any day. Let me just tell you, I'm certainly not the only shower out here. There's people all over collecting shells, and there's still this much good stuff. So that tells you it was pretty good washing. Now I have a little shovel, and I could sit and just dig, but I kind of want to move around because I want to get up here by the rocks and see what's there. I want to go to the bottom of the point, see if it's bigger. Another tinted cantharus. There's a bubble shell. Pretty good size for a bubble. And there's broken moons everywhere. My gosh, moon snails like this all over. And that nice chestnut turban. Excellent. I could spend six hours down here if I had it. I just don't have it today, unfortunately. But 
by all means if you do come on and stock up here we have a little rib cantharis a little baby moon another little button and here is a sharp rib drill oh boy oh boy this is a lot of fun today a sand dollar wow with all this stuff goodness not in great shape but kind of a surprise to see it there's a beautiful calico clam how nice another little spiny back there i'll take that guy too that's starting to fill up i love it when people do artwork with shells on the beach that's so fun how pretty is that gorgeous if you're the artist drop me a note in the comments and you see it and it's like me when you can't miss it look at that <gasps> beautiful just beautiful what a stunner another little pretty orange one peeking out Ooh, how cute love it hey i am in the rough scallop zone look at that that one is absolutely perfect perfect just perfect wow that's my find of the day so far right there man stunning example of a rough scallop right there little key not disappointing today my goodness fabulous fabulous shell pile everywhere i look good golly there's another really great moon snail wow excellent yep that one in the bag and there's another pile over there on the other side of these rocks and another pile up there by those rocks wow now the tide's going down let's check the water too before we traverse and get to above the rocks and there's a little cutie a little fighting cup you're just too cute little believe Good gravy. Mm, piece of a lightning walk. Big super fat olive. <laughs> wow. There's another gorgeous orange rough scallop. Neon almost. Nice rare find right here. It's a purplish simile in the orange variety. That's a beautiful, beautiful shell. Wow. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Looking in here. In and among all these rocks, there's shells everywhere I'm looking. Every place I'm looking. Boy. Gonna be a good time down here for a few days at least. Another monster shell pile in front of me, just above the rock. Oh, wow. My goodness. The rough scallops here. And the calicos, too. Some amazing ones. Really nice. Oh, boy. There's a nice orangish yellow one. It's really, really, really pretty too. Oh, the colors. We are getting a show from Mother Nature today. Yeah, another lovely piece of coral here. That's gorgeous. A lot of broken things in this pile. Shame that 
that's broken. And I've got a nice moon still there too. Oh look, there's a little baby murex. Little baby apple murex. How cute. As we can see, it's a lot of the same stuff that I was just finding on the other side of these rocks. Olives, fighting conks, small arcs, calico, scallops, and clams, pieces of whelk. There's spiny jewel boxes all over. So since most of this is the same as what I've been finding, I am going to head further down. But my goodness, this is quite a pile. I mean, gosh, look at these fighting cocks. They're practically neon. Incredible. Incredible. Look at the size of the turkey wings down here. And also amazing how smashed some of this stuff is. I mean, there's a lot of force to take and break some of these thicker shells like this. So, another perfect lettered olive. Little tiny, tiny, spiny jewel box. How adorable. What am I'm looking for? Anything and everything that's cool. I just found this cute little nutmeg and a great moon snail. There's all kinds of nutmegs in here. I found a bunch. I love nutmegs. My name is Mitch. I have a, a YouTube channel where I post videos of me shelling, oh, making things that. out of them, and beach conditions. So I'm out here doing my YouTube thing today. And what is that? This is my uh, GoPro camera. This is another nutmeg over here. Yes, indeed. Oh. So you tell us to find a certain thing, or what do you do? No, you know what? I come out to see what I can find. And what sometimes... That, that thing, that you have there? Oh, this? Yeah, does that find a certain shell? No. No, just my laser eyes do. <laughs> Gosh, there's murexes in here all over, too. Probably a dumb question, but I'm not and high tech. Little tiny fighting conks. Gosh, I'm s sitting in this shell pile and every time I turn my head or look somewhere else, I see something else amazing. Picking up nutmegs and little fighting conks and little whelks. All kinds of cool stuff in here. Boy. I've got my shell bag full already. I have to change it out. And I still do have to go to the longboat. So, this shell bag is now full. Pulled some really pretty shells up already so far today. And I'm going to just keep going because there's some great, great stuff. There's my monster from today. Oh, wow, yeah. That's a nice big one. And I could have swore I just saw a nutmeg a second ago. Oh, right there in front of me and a cone behind it. Hey! <laughs> Sweet! Maybe I shouldn't go walking around. Maybe I should just keep my fanny parked right here. <laughs> yeah, you know, down at the very end, there's a whole there's bunch of There's always good stuff down there at the bottom. It's all picked over. I really wasn't finding much on the dry part, but when I walked along the water, that's when I was finding some interesting Well, well, it was nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm glad I braved the cold today. For the it's actually nowhere near as bad as it was the last two because it was vicious Monday and Tuesday out yeah, here, temperature-wise. It get a little better, but it was, it was bad this morning. I got here at about 9.30. It yeah. It's warmed up nicely, it's though. Better yeah. now. It's much better now. Yeah. yeah. Right, we'll see you guys. Have fun. Oh, my... But can't take those pokey shells in it anymore. Gosh, I look up and I see something and I get up and then I lost what I saw. I did see a cute whelk over here though a minute ago. Maybe I'll spot it again. This pile is beyond fun. Cute little pear whelk. That's nice. A chunk of coral. Nice dark button snail. My goodness. I think I'm gonna keep wandering around before my leg goes completely numb. I can only sit for so long, but 
It was, it, thank you, you too. It was great meeting you and have a great time. I'd say good luck, but I don't even need to tell you that because it's like an automatic, like how good it is here. Is that a pile of fighting conks that you've made? No, it was here when I got here. <laughs> Did you see the artwork on the other side of the rocks? Oh, I haven't been over there. Somebody made a circle, like a, like a sunset scene out of the fighting conks, put them out radially, and then uh, put some other stuff under it. It was pretty cool. Wow. Very neat. Gosh, I can't decide if I want to go south or stay right here. There's so much stuff, but I have to keep moving, though. peek in the water. Oh boy. Look at this. More cool stuff and more and more. It just doesn't end. Oh wow. All right, now the water level is really on the way down. Now we can start taking a look at the edge. I do have to pull my pant legs up a little. I just saw a huge, huge moon snail go floating past, right back into the water. Maybe he'll turn up again. There it was. Gotcha. I gotcha. Hi, buddy. You're a beauty. Very nice. There's a tulip. It's in awful shape, though. These fighting conks are stunners here. Just stunners today. Unbelievable how much cool stuff there is. All right, now can I get around these rocks without getting soaked? And that's a great question. <gasps> that's cold. Whoa. No, oh, look at here. Another little spot where the water washes it right up to you. Washes a lot of junk in your shoes too. And see as I'm coming back around here, this wasn't visible before because the water was higher. And now I can see. Pretty chestnut. A little whelp in front of me. Well, not in amazing shape, but we'll take him home anyway. A little big boy. <laughs> Burr. Okay, there's shells here too. I have to pull my pant legs up higher if I want to stay dry. Wow, there is a lot in this water. And the tide's still on the way down, so... Tons of stuff all over the place. All right, that's a little too much water coming up high on my legs for me. <laughs> it's still chilly today. But this pile, this rack, just goes on and on from where these rocks are behind our resort right here. There's more rocks above. There's more shells in between the rocks. And there's stuff on this beach heading southbound so I'm going to be making my way over to the point and see if I can find anything cool in that little neck of the woods next. Oh, the wave just washed up to the back of my pants. Ooh, got a nutmeg rolling around in the surf though. That's a stunner. Lovely, lovely little shell. Oh, I pulled my pant legs up to my knees but I'm still getting wet. 
and I'm not loving it because it's cold. But there's so much cool stuff to look at in the water, I'm taking and doing it anyway. Because this may be some of the best shelling conditions I've personally seen at Lido in the past oh, year, I guess. The conditions are incredible. There's tons washing in, tons in the water, tons on the beach already. So yeah, there's another nice chestnut turban and these olives are killing me. I mean, there's so many great ones here. A beat up sand dollar in the water. I mean, there's just a ton of stuff in this water. I would like to be able to show it more. The waves are a little tricky. It's not as um, choppy and nasty like it was at Passage Grill two days ago, certainly. Still though, when the waves break, it's a little tough to see. And they are still coming higher on me than I would like. Okay, that's enough of that. <laughs> hey, look at that nice moon snail that washed in though. I think you need a new home with me. You're so pretty. Hey, there's a cute lightning whelk right there. And a tiny little teeny chestnut turban. Oh, so cute. Finding all the treasures. Oh my gosh, wait till you get to the other side of those rocks. There's incredible stuff. Murexes and tulips and nutmegs and all kinds of great stuff. It's fun to walk in there and see all those shells, but it's not great getting all the junk in your shoes. Ah, I haven't seen too many of these yet today. This is a nice buttercup we've seen. Look at that beautiful gold rim. Beauty. Nutmeg. Yay. Oh, that was a nice fighting point. Ooh, he's pointy. And I'm not sure if you can see this in the water. I mean, there's more olives than you could collect. I, they're everywhere, everywhere. Look at the size of that beast. Look at the size of that. And these guys, these big ones are all over the place here today. There's another one up on the shore. Look, these monster olives. Absolutely insane how big. And the water's full of them. Look at that, all the olives in there. Olives and pieces of fighting conch everywhere. Ooh, here's a little tiny tulip. <laughs> how sweet. So this storm has been a double-edged sword. We know from the earlier beach report that it really ripped up the new dunes that they did up in Pinellas. But I just cannot get over all the shells it's brought in. Look at the size of that broad rib cardiva. That's humongous. So it's brought in some really cool stuff. Passa Girl and Lido have been particularly good. Oh, what's that? Oh, a piece of land colony. That's cool too. All right, I just stepped ow, on a moon snail to keep it from running away. Picked up another lightning whelk too. Awesome. Oh, you're a cute little crown conch. How darling. Even out here, as the waves pull back, you can see all these shells. This whole bottom of this island is loaded like this. And that is the other thing I wanted to check. Is Lido bigger? All right, I'm tired of being in the water. I'm having my shoes full of stuff. As fun as it is to look at all of it, I would like to walk up higher. And still, no shortage of shells anywhere. 
obviously. Look at all of this stuff. Just piles and piles of it. So this is about where I came on the beach. I'm parked over by, see like if you went straight back to those power poles, that's kind of where I came on the beach. And as you can see, there's tons of stuff on this beach still. I'm gonna make my way south to the tip of Lido. We've had the bottom of this point sort of growing, which is unusual considering how many places have lost sand, that we're actually picking up sand here. Oh, and we're gonna pick up that adorable, perfect little baby turkey wing. How sweet and darling is that? And still, you can see, now I don't wanna get in the water here because it's deeper than it is above where I was walking in it before, but you can still see loads of olives rolling around in here. Fighting conch pieces and all sorts of arcs. But it drops off right here. And the water's a little murky. I can see there's a hole and a ridge and another hole. Now I will also say, this southern end gets shelled pretty heavily. Lots of people were here when I arrived. Oh my goodness, I wish I had met you sooner, but you're still really nice. Hello, Apple Murex. You're coming home. The rough scallops are unreal down here. There's another one. There's been lots of these guys today. I also found a very small piece of a lion's paw further up, so maybe I'll get lucky and see one of those here too. That would be nice. Another big scallop? Yes, indeed. That's a nice one. Gosh, I should be almost to where I want to show. And I'm, I still have to go quite a ways. Way over there. Ooh, hey. Lovely, lovely tulip. Isn't that beautiful? And a little cutie pie juvenile fighting conch right next to it. Those are great. Those are really nice. Right on. Oh look, there's a little chestnut turban back here too. Great. Awesome. And here's some more of this shell pile. I stopped because I saw this guy and this one with all that periostracum on him. And I was thinking, well, maybe he's freshly deceased. Although his shell does look quite torn up. On the surface, the spikes on him are really sharp. So I'm gonna take him. And I look down in front of me, and look at that rough scallop. Wow. Now I'm not sure if this is a rough or an Antillian, actually. I'll have to look at my book and determine that when I get back home. There's a nice big sunray Venus clam, wow. Good size one for here, for sure. Beauty. All right, now I'm seeing more buttercup lucines. Look at the yellow one. Look at that. <laughs> wow. Look at these. Look at these. These are great buttercup lucines. What incredible butter butterness on them. Super, super pretty. And that nice little orange scallop along with them up there. And you guys can all come with me. There's another sand dollar there. Oh, <laughs> he's got a bunch of stuff going on there. There's another sand dollar. Huh. Look at that. So much wild stuff down here today. Can I possibly be seeing things? Holy smokes! That is a piece off of a Gaudi Nautica type moon snail, okay? We don't find these here, pretty much ever. Gaudi's definitely further south of us. So to find a big giant piece of Gaudi Nautica here is quite a surprise. I wonder if I'll find some of the actual shells. That would be intensely cool. We just don't see them here. Oh, that is darling. Oh, so cute. What a pretty picture. A little tiny juvenile fighting conch, a grown-up fighting conch, and another white Atlantic semi with that nice pink in the top. Great. Great, great stuff. 
There's a beautiful sunray Venus clam. Very nice. With a pinkish tan color to it, gorgeous. And I'm almost to the bottom and I'm seeing a monster pile of shells down here too. Holy smokes, you guys. There are shells everywhere. Look at that moon snail top, that's gorgeous. Nice scallop. And another nutmeg ahead of me. Oh boy. Now I haven't seen nutmegs in months really. Not like today. One here, one there, but gosh, they're all over, all over the place today. Great one right there. And there's a paper fig. Wow. Now We've been looking for these since Adalia, and they're coming up smashed to pieces and little bits and nothing of them. That's the most I've seen together of one in months. So that's sort of a fun find right there. A paper fig. And right in front of me, another baby whelk. Hello, cutie pie. There's a gorgeous little lightning whelk. And what else we got here? Nice big dark auger right there and an enormous serif. There's another nutmeg. Oh, that one's in kind of tough shape compared to the ones I've been finding, but... Uh-oh. Drop the most fragile one. Take that little tiny spiny with it, though, when I pick it back up. And here, a nice little chestnut turban, and another really cute little tulip. There's a ribbed cantharus there. Hello. There's a juvenile horse, or a fighting conch, rather, right in front of me. Yep, that guy's in great shape, too. There's another little lightning whelk. Man, I just, I turn and go in a different direction and things just start jumping out. Look at this. It's half a true tulip right there. And another baby whelk. Oh my goodness. There's pieces of crown conch here too. And a really busted nutmeg. Calico clam, and there's that adorable little baby whelk. Oh my gosh. Insane. Shell insanity today. In the meantime, here is another one of those fragile rare shells I love to find. This one is a paper cockle. A little narrower and a little different than the uh, simile that we saw. A little thicker, not as see-through. But still a rare find and a great little shell for here. This is a great, great pick. Another ridiculous olive over here. Cool fighting conch. And hey, another nutmeg. Oh look, there's a little moon snail hiding right there. Definitely fun down here today. Man, oh man, oh man. Loads of fun. Adorable, perfect little tulip. How pretty. Get the sand wiped off of there. Yes, please. Nice. The really old Sunray Venus. I can tell by the shape because the pattern's completely gone. This could be an old fossilized one. There are fossils uh, that do wash up around here. Occasionally we find a shark's tooth or a chunk of duogong rib on our beach here in Lido. There's a great, nice little dark sunray Venus. How pretty. Cutie pie. Oh, it's kind of crazy stuff over here to my right too. Here's another nutmeg. Yay. And a top snail. A big chestnut turban and a smaller one. Wow. Awesome. There's another nutmeg right there. A baby whelk. And is this? What is this guy? Oh, it's a little drill. Holy smokes. Man, if I had gone two steps forward, I would have missed that stuff entirely. I better pay a little closer attention here, closer to the water maybe, now that I'm getting down to the bottom. 
There's a worm snail there. And didn't I just say, where are the limpets? There's a limpet. Hi, lucky limpet. And another nutmeg. Unbelievable. Unbelievable how good it is down here. I cannot get over that top snail. He's humongous. Incredible. Look how far away I am. This has grown. This has grown. It is bigger. And there is a bucket load of shells down here. Oh my gosh. Oh, and here's a yellow cockle. I haven't seen very many of these today. Little yellow prickly cockle. He's a little sun faded, but still quite cute. Another big, big moon snail. Look at this guy. He's pretty. And he's got some friends. That nice scallop there. This little tiny yellow one. Oh my goodness. So much fun down here today. <laughs> I'm enjoying myself immensely. Okay. Look at this. Perfect little scallop with those colors. A baby apple murex. And up there, a sand dollar. Incredible. Incredible how much cool stuff is around me. There's a moon snail. Hello, moon. All right, I'm going to go out on a limb and say this is some of the best shelling I've ever had at Lido. The shells are in. Oh, some more poor sea critters that washed up. This is a colony of tunicates. Feels like a big thing of cartilage. I don't know if it's viable or not, but I'm just going to send it over there to get wet. Hopefully it'll make it. In the meantime, there's a moon snail, and there's a moon snail, and there's a moon snail. Hello, moons. Now that's a nice sand dollar. That's a really nice sand dollar. Beautiful. Oh, that makes me happy to get a nice sand dollar here. So unexpected. There we go. Another couple of whelks here too. There we go. Some nice lightning whelks. Oh my gosh. These olives are killing it down here. Look at the colors. Look at that. Amazing repair lines on this one. Sweet. All right, I am making my way around the bottom of Lido now. And I don't know if you can see down here, there is monster shells down here. Just big everything. Big beach bowl. Big oyster. Big surf clam. More scallops all over the place. So the size of the shells has changed a little bit. Some of the stuff is quite a bit bigger down here. Um, some of it is a little more surf worn and roughed up too. It may have been rolling around a little longer. But tons. And there, if you look here, all right, so this is where your rack line sort of stops as things went down. Look at the sand. And there's just more and more and more and more and more as you dig. There's more shells all under this stuff. So today's a good walking around day, a good dig through a pile day. You name how you want to shell and you will find something. All right, and tell me your name. Arlene. Arlene, are you from here or in here visiting? I'm from Ohio, but I live here in the winter. Fantastic. Are you having a good day shell wise? I, I, I just started, so I'm doing very well. May, if I may, um, oh, great sand dollar. I can't believe how many I'm seeing of those here. They don't usually show up here like this. All the way around here, up till you get to that hotel building there's some rock jetties in front of it it's carpeted with shells a little dead spot in the middle and then up by the rocks is absolutely wild tulips murexes lots of nutmegs so there you can't go wrong almost anywhere absolutely you can certainly oh look at that big moon right there where? Huge moon snail right there. There you go. Merry Christmas. No, that's for you. I live here. I can get this anytime. Oh, <laughs> uh, you're funny. <laughs> I, I 
I have so many. I'm just trying to collect the, the, the um, blue eyes. Oh, I do like the Paul Newmans. They're so pretty. The what? Paul Newmans, oh, the yeah. blue-eyed moon snails. Yeah. Just the water behind us. Wait, where's that little button? Oh, it's okay. <laughs> we'll take it again. Just the extended automatic. It just snapped. What are you? Watch your channel. Wait, tell me. B U B O B O. Eshway Bijou. Eshway Bijou. Yep, it's French for washed ashore <gasps> jewelry. Look at your earrings. Oh, oh my God, Michelle. It took a few That's months to I find want. two of the same right there. <laughs> oh, yeah. But, yeah. Um, so on your website, can I can I order something like that? Um, I don't have a way to build up an order for an item that doesn't necessarily exist, oh, yeah, really but. I want one of those shark eyes on a, on a necklace. Now, what I do do is custom uh, stuff. So if you have something that you found that you're like, oh man, I just really want this drilled and I really want to wear it, um, let me know if, and I can even. let you know though. Uh, okay. Let's, uh, you know where my channel is. In my description, my email address should be there and my little store should be there as well. Okay. So and a contact me to be there. You. Yep. Or you can leave me a comment on YouTube. I'm good at making sure I see the comments and reply to people I mean, too. I can send the shark eye to you, right? Yeah, so absolutely. No problem at all. Yeah, nice. I'll get blue eye. But I got to contact you first so I know how to do it. There you go. Awesome. I have so, I, when I saw you coming around, I thought, is that, is that her? And then when There's got to be. Who else is out here on a walker? I was here also three days ago. You, a lot of people said they came right after the storm and it yeah. wasn't good. And I had said on my channel, give it a couple oh, days. Gone. Give it a couple no, days. It was perfect. Nice, but it was just as many three days ago and two days ago. My girlfriend came yesterday and she found a couple horse conks and did you find a flat? No, a uh, perfect rough scallop. Oh, that is it's like beautiful. astonishingly perfect. Yes. A perfect top snail. Oh, look how big it is. I know. He's oh, huge. Little, ones here. little baby whelks. You know where I found him? About between where those people are and that where that wave just broke. I found it right over there by the edge. I found a couple the other day. There's a paper cockle. I've got a purplish semolee oh, in I don't here. Even know what a paper cockle is. <laughs> that guy, they're thin. They're very fragile. It's hard to find them. Then there's another thin one in here that's called a purplish semolee. He's orange, but okay. he's a purplish semolee. Yeah, I couldn't figure that one out. Why yeah, that that part. I don't know why they named that shell purplish because it, it comes in orange more than it comes in purple. But oh, look at that. That's beautiful. A little purplish semolee and a little paper oh, cockle. Oh, you lucky lady. There's nutmegs all over. There's tulips and. Uh, Murex is closer up to yeah. where the rocks are. I mean, it's just wild down here right now. Yes, it is. I'm so glad you came here. Nice to meet and you. Nice to meet you, too. Merry Christmas. Happy shelling. Got my battery change. I'm going to have to make my way off the beach. After I poke around here a few more minutes. Because I do have to get over to Longbow Key. Take a look at Gulf Side Drive and see what we're faced with over there again. Um... I mentioned before I think it's going to be in tough shape I think the brand new sand may not still be there but you know I could be surprised and I could be wrong I never know but I do suspect Lido has gotten bigger because a lot of the stuff that I'm walking over this is stuff that used to be in the water's edge and it used to be an extremely steep drop off so now this is flattened out there's sort of like an approach and you can actually walk around and a lot of this stuff was in the edge where it would drop off so it's pretty amazing to see this all up on the beach now i'm in the upper edge of this rack line uh the stuff close to the water has been pretty good there's everywhere has been good i mean loads loads of shells here Sometimes I find neat smaller stuff, but as I'm looking at this, now when this started to fill in after Edalia, see where this little depression is right here? That's where the edge was. So this, since Edalia, has grown, flattened out, because it used to be a really steep little drop off over here. And this channel just keeps getting narrower, and those houses over there just keep getting closer to us. 
So quite a few changes here for our beaches following these, not only the summer storm season, but our winter storm season as well. And it is only December in an El Nino year. Who knows what else we've got coming next. There's another nutmeg. <laughs> awesome. Another piece of coral. All right, I am making my way back up to the car. We're gonna head over to Longboat and then head home because I do want to see what's going on at Longboat with that repair that they did over there. But oh my goodness. Lido Key has been incredibly generous and continues to be. People are excited about the things they're finding, sharing them with others. And here's a perfect way for me to end my day. A perfect little juvenile Florida fighting cock and a coffee bean melampus, a rare find for our beaches here. In Quite actually impressive that I even saw it in this pile of stuff. There's so much. So let's just say thank you, Lido Key. And Lido Key is going to be the gift that keeps giving for the next few days. So get on down to Lido as the tides continue to swing and we get the lower negatives with the full moon coming. The shelling's just going to get better and better. I love this little sign here. It tells us all about our birds here, Lido. And we have a, a bird habitat here that's important. So you can see they do uh, clean up the stuff to the rag. They get the plastic and junk off. That's why they comb this beach because it is kind of a tourist beach. But here we have all the little birds that we see here. The little plovers, the sanderlings, the least tern, willets, black skimmers, laughing gulls, and royal terns who are my favorite. Super fun little guys. Lido Key. Bam! Holy smokes. Lido has, and I've been going to Lido for a few years now. Things picked up after Ian a little bit and since Adalia, the shelling on Lido has been unbelievable. Absolutely fantastic. So I would highly recommend if you're coming to the Sarasota, Tampa, St. Pete area for this winter in the 2024 season, you're going to want to get out to Lido Key, to South Lido Key Park. Absolutely incredible shell holes amazing and the storms just keep rolling through had another one earlier this week expecting another one this weekend head on out there because the beaches are sure to be carpeted again and the news for longboat key as you saw in my beach report right after it happened was not great and the shelling yeah the shelling wasn't so awesome either and that's, I think, to be sort of expected with the amount of rocks that we're seeing there, sort of blocking things from being able to get up, seawalls that have been exposed, blocking things from being able to roll up. So there's a, a night and day difference in the way shelling used to be there versus how it is now. Just like there's a big difference between Lido Key, how it was a couple of years ago, how it is now. So these beaches and these conditions are constantly changing, and I'm doing my best to try to keep you in tune and what's going on with all of them so that you can get the most out of your vacation while you're here. As with my last video, yes, some of this footage you will have already seen when I did the beach report because I wanted to get the conditions up so that people could see them right away. So again, if I take this footage out and you didn't see that, this part isn't going to make sense, but if you have seen the beach report, you're going to notice some of this footage. Uh, you've seen some of it before, and the, the rest of it is included in this upcoming section. Okay, I am back at Longboat Gulf Side, where there's the two handicapped parking spots and a short walk to the beach. Uh, there's also parking at Broadview Access and a number of other little smaller beach access places sort of between here and about maybe two-thirds of the way down the island and then you run out of places to park oh dear god oh that's new okay so long boat key at gulf side drive had a number of problems after idalia and a lot of sand washed out they had barely made a little bit of a repair to my right. And it appears that the repair sand that they put has all been washed in and up. I can see the grasses laying down and a flow pattern this way. I see way more rocks than I've ever seen in my life here. 
Um, yeah, this this didn't go well for Longboat. Oh my gosh. Now we're in a situation here in Longboat where there's not a ton of public beach access here, but there is a lot of beach access here. Okay, there's a sh carved shelf right there where it just falls off into the water. And here's where the storm rack got to and carved this whole thing all the way around to where I can't see anymore at the, the bend of the point. And it's not good news for Longo Key. There was very little protection here for the, the homes and what have you before Adalia. And then last Sunday and the Sunday before. Okay, we got another carved spot here. I just stepped down. And all of that sand that they had just built up here has been plowed right out of there. Oh dear. And you can see the beach itself has also is having a really tough time. Look at this carved line. And this guy's is only an hour and a half past low tide. It's like 2.30, 2.40 right now. Low tide for Lido was at 1.11. So it was about the same time here. I see a few shells. I see beach sand falling as I'm watching it. And uh, this is bad news for Longboat. This beach is steep. I'm leaning to my right, probably about 15 degrees. Very difficult to walk. Let's see what's here on the shore. What is washing up? And I can see shells in the water. You know, there's, there's stuff here rolling around. Not that I want to get wet all over again, but. No, well, got a cool piece of coral here that I'll take. Not much shell-wise, honestly, not right here anyway. Wander around a little north of the access point. See what I see? What a mess. This beach used to extend out a good 20, 30 feet on the other side of these rocks, which you didn't really even know were here before. And then Idalia stripped almost as much sand as could be gotten from here and pulled it all out. Oh, Longboat, I am so sorry. Now, Longboat is known for sea turtle nesting. No dunes means no place for them to lay their eggs. They will still try. They come back to where they were born at to lay their eggs. So uh, this being washed and gone with all these rocks means our turtle population is going to have a tough time making their nests here. Which is also very sad. Gosh, yeah, this they had covered this over the last time John and I were here. I don't even think I've posted video from that yet. Oh gosh, not an easy beach walk, guys. Concrete barriers and rocks exposed everywhere. Uh, there's pieces of shells in this rack. I bet you there's stuff up here on the edge of the dune, what's left of it. And I don't know if you can tell, but I mean, I'm maybe 60, 70 feet from that house, not even. I mean, it's gotta be closer than that. And you can see where all of this just washed right up. Man. So, without the protection of the additional sand around the rocks, this is going to continue to take damage. They had trucked a bit of sand in here. It wasn't much. It's about from where that concrete wall was up to this next one. Same situation as uh, what happened at Sunset Beach. What they did to try to fix things and uh, put some more sand back has been clearly washed out. And low tide ocean is right there, rocks right there. Obviously water came all the way up here where this brown line is. That's where sea foam 
dirt and debris and everything else is that's and then it dries out and it makes that kind of like crusty stuff there sometimes you find some good shells in that but it was what i'm looking at specifically is right here that what's left of their backyard has now been washed washed through we are barely at the beginning of winter storm season and we had some some barn burners last season wow there was a few there in January and February that were just incredible. So some of this stuff may be in serious trouble. Now, I don't know if anybody that's staying in these places has come and shelled the last few days. I don't know that there'd be anything here to find um, with the rocks the way they are. Stuff could be trapped on the other side of them, I guess, but I don't know how steeply it drops off over there because the water's just going to keep lapping and carving that. So, yikes. I mean, seriously. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, that dune is gone, 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 gone. All the way gone, it's all the way gone. Oh man. Oh boy. But I can see very clearly that the sand that we saw three weeks ago or four weeks ago not only is it washed out it's washed up against people's property and that whole wall around their porch so used to be a behind a dune it's all been leveled looked like they have shoveled the sand off their walkway scary stuff oh that's a tunicate is it no piece of quartz oh wow it's kind of cool weird to find a nice little surf polished piece of quartz that was kind of fun all right i do see shells in these rocks right here by the water's edge and i might be able to get to the water right here i'm having like a passive girl flashback right now okay i suspect what shells there would be are on the other side of the rocks. And since the tide's coming up, I don't want to spend a lot of time over here and get stuck. But yeah, there are a few shells here. So the rocks are the barrier to anything showing up on the beach, I guess. Not only that, but probably getting a lot of things broken on them. And you can see the sand is starting to kind of build up this used to be a bigger drop down to the water from here and now the sand is piled up in this spot and there's a bunch of shells in the water here i mean most of it's smashed up pieces but we do see a few things in there i'm unfortunately not dressed to go get them okay i have shown this house before after idalia and they had sand covering their deck. It looks like that happened again and they had to shovel it off again because I can see a pile over there by the gate. But yep, every bit of dune that was protecting these homes is now gone, every last bit of it. All right, so a little tricky to get back over. No place to walk. And like I said, there used to be like 30 feet on the other side of these rocks that you could walk up and down the beach. So that's why there's not much on the beach, obviously. The rocks are blocking it. And the last time we were down here, that lot had been um, kind of cleared and badly damaged from the surf. Looks like, uh, looks like today they're doing some constructing over there. It's sad to see Longboat looking like this. It really is. An incredible amount of damage has been done two months or three months time frame from first Idalia and then storm last weekend the storm this past weekend pretty tough to see it what we got here a hinged pair maybe at one point two little yellow prickly cockles and yes look at that they are a pair they do go together 
Very nice. I like hinge pliers. They make for good earrings. A few more yellow cockles. There's prickly cockles. Actually, it's a really good sized yellow cockle there. Look at the size of that guy. Nice yellow too. Bam. All right. Oh gosh. Yeah. Look at this. The ocean is back in there, almost in their yard. And these folks have a little wall and fence arrangement. Looks like the sand got piled up against that. They seems to have filled back in with sand over here. Now, I don't know if that's happened naturally or if somebody put it there. Let's go take a look. I mean, just unbelievable. The damage that was done, the amount that we didn't know was here. Okay, hey. Sand has showed up in this spot. There was like almost none last time. And there's a pile of shells here too. This could be promising. I mean, as a sheller, I don't see any indication that anybody's been through these piles. Let's see, something right down there with polka dots, what is it? Oh, it's a cute little rough scallop. Saw a number of these down at Lido also today. That's a great little shell. Lots of stuff. How deep is it? It's like a pile of frit. But there'll be littles in that kind of stuff. It goes down about four inches. And there's stuff in the water line as well. What have we here? Because this looks like it's been, like Mother Nature sort of replaced it after taking it out. And there's lots of little shells in here. Most of it's like arcs, commons, little dark pieces of stuff, broken pieces, of pen shells, and beach bowls. Yeah, it doesn't look like, uh, doesn't look like really anybody's been right here. There's not even footprints. Just these guys working. Let's see what's right here. Oh, it'd be Sarah, so there'll be augers. Kittens paws, lots of those. Lots and lots of those. Some pieces of coral. Nice little dark serif there. Broken fighting conch. Jeez, you could have convinced me I saw every fighting conch there ever was today on Lido. Good gravy. Now, Mongo, I used to find olives out here a lot. But I'm not seeing anything olive looking at all. All these rocks have all been exposed now to you can tell water got up into the yard up here. A knife? Ugh, probably not leave that on the beach. Take that out of here. Now on occasion, I have found a genonia here. I have found a scotch bonnet out here. Right now, things are not looking great. A lot of smashed up everything. And you can see just how damaged all of this is. Unreal. I barely feel like I'm in Florida. I feel like I'm like on the Pacific coast or something. little buddy. Right, this thing. Just to give you an idea of what it used to be like out here. Before Adalia wrecked it. Uh oh Okay. See that corner right there? 
all of that was under sand the front lip edge of it was barely exposed and there was another 10 feet 11 feet that way to walk on this is a significant change in basically just a few months there won't be anything up here unless the waves broke over that wall Looks like water really came all the way up here, too. Boy, oh boy. Oh my gosh, that was all back filled with sand last time. Holy smokes. Holy smokes, holy smokes, holy smokes. The mangroves are gone. The plants are gone. Oh my gosh, I don't know if that's storm or construction too that did that look at this we can't even get to this okay and then there's a pile of new sand on the north side of that house so if i can traverse this maybe i can get up there but i'll tell you what this is scary the amount of damage down here from an unnamed winter storm okay Walker there. Oh. Holy smokes. Look at the damage that was filled for you pretty decently last time we were here. Oh my gosh. Oh wow, that's a fantastic fossil find. Oh, the Cardita family. Beautiful. So now these walls are being exposed. And look at this, what it's done. It took all of their sand right up to the, they used to have sand right up to the doorway, right up to the edge of the, where the deck is kind of. All of this all used to be dune. This is frightening. So that was stuff that was probably brought into this location from somewhere else. Because clearly the beach changes too much for anything to stay right at the water's edge. Good gravy. Now, once upon a time, we used to be able to walk up right to that where that big seawall around that property is and there used to be a shell pile six feet deep there used to be 15 feet 20 feet of beach you could walk so that sand's gone now too quite a bit of shells here in between this seawall and that one not sure what kind of condition anything's in, but it doesn't look like there's any footprints or anybody's even been out here and shelled it, so virgin shelling would be kind of fun. It's always fun to see what's on a beach when you know nobody else has been to it. And clearly there are no footprints. There's no dog footprints, there's no nothing. So nobody's been out here to poke around. Look at that. Start off with one of the darkest calico clams I think I've ever seen. That's a beauty. A lot of broken and smashed little pieces of stuff here. So I'm not sure how much I'll actually find or how deep this actually goes. It might be worth checking. Well, just a little bit, like an inch or two here. Oh, there's a cute orange scallop. Been a recurring theme today. All these bright orange things after a storm. There's a 
gorgeous pink one. Look at that. Like it's dyed on the edge. Pretty. Fishermen are out. Tide's coming back in. Which means I cannot spend a lot of time here. We used to get such great shells on this little stretch of beach. I haven't in a while. Not since Ian. A nice dark one. That's pretty sweet. Lots of fossils. Lots of chunks of big old things that walk, wash out of these chunks of limestone. This guy here, for example, is another great fossil. It's a leafy oyster. Or the predecessor of it. It's a great fossil. It could have just come right out of the limestone rocks in the last couple of weeks. Who knows? I think I'll take that. What other goodies do we have over here? Oh, wow. Really dark, fat, kitten paw looking guy. Look at this. That's an old fossil of a springy jewel box, or corrugated jewel box, rather. That guy there. So these limestone rocks that are on this beach are full of fossils, so it's not, not a surprise to see some of these things here. And I like you. Pretty little orange and a spiny. Oh, what are you? Look at your color. That's interesting. There are those big dark guys there. Looks like a kitten's paw. Piece of a worm snail. Oh, that guy's a cutie pie. Cute little rough scallop there. All right, again, not uh, thick. Um, well, I don't know. You dig down, and then there's sand, and then there's shells, and then there's sand again. So there could be more here than you think, actually. But it does seem to be scattered quite a bit around. What have we here? Ooh, and hinged. Hey, that's really cool. Nice find. Nice white scalp there, I'll take that too. I mean, I could go nuts on scallops here if I wanted to, but really, you'd rather see what else there is. That's a nice one. And a piece of a worm snail. A very discolored. Oh gosh, that's an old fossil from like a channel whelk. That's neat. Yeah, there's an olive art, right? First little olive I've seen here. Still glossy, it's nice. Take them. There's a really pretty yellow, just washed in, still wet. Look at that color. It's got a strange shape to it too. Sort of squishedness sort of to it. Interesting. Now up here, where there used to be beach, and the water used to be an amazing place to get shells at. I don't know about that now, but from what I see, this isn't that uh, deep really. Not that I want to get wet in it, but... And there are shells out there too. Stuff's all mixed up with sand and, sh and smashed pieces. Surf clams, mossy art, jingles, cardenas, calico clams, fossils of a few different types of shells, some coral as well. There's a nice piece of coral. Very cool. So, no Genonia for me today. 
<laughs> One can always hope. It's good to be positive and think like you'll find one and maybe you will. More often than not, nope, but. All right, so I'm getting down to where the end of this is, really. Again, shells, lots of shells, but smalls, brokens. Not, uh, not too much to get excited over here. Now, I haven't been on the other side because there's nowhere to go around. But I've, at some point, I am going to have to get over there to take a look at stuff, too, on the other side of that property and see what the beach looks like on the other side. Okay, I'm on my way off Longboat. And just to give you an indication of how much sand is gone, you are looking at the root ball of that palm tree. So if that's the root ball, um, that's about 18 inches high. So we've lost about a foot and a half, maybe two feet of sand right here. Quite something to see. Even well-established grasses and root systems can't pre protect this area from the ocean. So, uh, poor little new grasses at sunset didn't stand a chance. Neither did this one. Just to give you an idea how far the water came up, all that foamy stuff we saw before, it's all the way back to here, and there's my car. So about halfway from the edge of the approach to the parking. Well, show buddies, I hope you really enjoyed this fun little trip out to Lido and a peek again at Longboat and uh, more to come from Lido. It was so incredibly carpeted that one trip just wouldn't do it justice. So I went back later on that week with John and that video will be coming up really soon. Thank you so much for joining this week. I hope you had a fantastic time on these beautiful beaches with all these amazing shell halls that we've been finding. Happy holidays, and let's keep it rolling full steam because those storms just keep coming. More shells keep coming on up, and it's going to be a fantastic shelling season this winter. Thanks so much. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you out there soon.